guys having fun first and foremost, uh, flying around, making plays, and uh, getting after each other. It was, it was a physical contest. Uh, I think there were a lot of good things on both sides of the ball. First half, the offense did a great job of establishing the run and uh, we had some nice long drives that wore down the defense. But the defense came back in the second half and played great. We had a bunch of three and outs, uh, had a turnover, and had a big goal line stand uh, to win the football game. So it was great to see. As a coach, you're looking for uh, as few mental breakdowns as possible. You want things to be happening that are clean. If, if a guy's making a play, it's because he's physically winning the one-on-one -on -one matchup, not because it's a breakdown on the other side of the ball's part. And uh, I think we did a pretty good job with that today. There were a couple of mental breakdowns, a couple of uh, pass protection issues where we turned some guys loose and on defense we had one or two coverage breakdowns. Uh, but for the most part, we, it was a pretty clean game and, and that's what I'm really looking for as a head coach. I, I think we had a, a couple of outstanding effort, uh, uh, efforts at, at the running back position. Jake Hudson uh, and Grayson Bastion both came up uh, with big days. Uh, I think they were both outstanding running the football. I think both quarterbacks also stepped up and, and for the most part, uh, played pretty well uh, and, and in terms of the pass game and getting us into the right plays and calling our protections. And from a mental aspect, it was a pretty good game as well. You know, the great thing about having uh, 13 practices up to this is that we were able to get a real good feel of what the defense is going to do. Um, so we had some really good keys on uh, their blitzes and their coverage types. Uh, so after practicing that for about three weeks now, uh, we had a good feel of offensively how we wanted to attack those points. We have a great receiving core. Uh, we have a lot of depth. Uh, you know, particularly, it's uh, it's great looking out and seeing guys like Andrew Desara and uh, Hat Slot and Tony Tavey and Fred Gladney at our wideouts. Uh, they can really run a solid anchor. Freshman this year, it's my first spring game. I'd say it's a great experience overall, especially with the new coaches coming in. I uh, really got things, the ball started off rolling uh, pretty well. Uh, new offensive stuff we finally got in. Uh, it was really good, especially the spring game was very fun too. We split into two teams, so it was a good experience. We had a great, we had some great blocking up front, especially on uh, I think uh, one, a few of those plays that broke off in the same, uh, same kind of run play that we had. Um, those blocks were really setting me up well, and uh, some of those holes are pretty small. I had to kind of jump through them a little bit. But uh, no, they were really doing a great job of getting everybody, and I was fortunate enough to be running behind them. I think the camaraderie of the team has just come such a long way, and uh, everyone's starting to play together, and we're meshing really well, and we're doing things obviously we haven't done before. It's been really, really great. I think I did pretty well. I think uh, a lot of us did pretty well. It was fun to be back out here. You know, I only played uh, four games last year until I got hurt. So it was nice to you know feel my knee again and uh, do what I used to. This spring game was awesome. Uh, we drafted the team, so it, it added another factor, a lot more uh, competitive this year. People were you know hooting and hollering all weekend and stuff, just about the team. So it was good to be out here, and it was good to uh, you know have a more competitive sense today. I'm feeling great, uh, physically wise. I feel right back to where I was. Everything feels good, you know. Nothing's hurt this spring ball, so I've been thankful for that. You know, mentally, I'm still trying to, you know, get it out of my mind a little bit, and that's, I think, the challenge right now is just, you know, not even thinking about it and just doing what I used to.